Alrighty, new version here. Let's play this in full. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. There's a camera change. Alright. Cool. What is going on with that? I was looking at this, this as in, not up here, but the rise in here. Up and then down. Well, I think it's okay. I would ease into that camera a little bit more. It's a bit harsh on the stop. You can ease in over a slower period of time. And even have a slight comeback if you want. But just at least ease in a little bit. Because if you come back, a couple things. It gets a bit edgy here, where given that there's so much more room here, you can almost keep a somewhat of a handheld camera, at least looser in terms of reframing. We're here, you move over, and then we would actually reframe more like this. And then as the creature, the creature, the robot gets out, we can still be here. And then as it comes in, maybe on the exit here, we can reframe like this and maybe even a bit lower to give this a bit more room. And then the robot comes back in from here and then we reframe up a bit like that, if that makes sense. I love doing camera stuff, so if you want to send me your Maya scene, that's totally fine. I can look into this and kind of build past if you want. I would just concentrate on the animation. The parents there feels pretty good. Uh, watch out, you have movement through there, but then this is locked. So it's very IK. So you're going to have to have a little bit of palm movement and some, you know, peel off here, maybe a slight compression, like little things. Nothing swimmy. You don't want this to be kind of moving for the movement's sake, but. So I want to make sure that this influences that. The rest seems okay. You can even have a little bit of opening of the jaw. I don't know if you have nostril controls. I haven't animated this guy in a while. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. I don't want to do crazy. If you want to go and imply contact here, you have to be careful. Are we intersecting? Is this kind of a brushing? Do we want movement here? And if that's too much, then I'll just globally move this character so that this is here. Just give this extra, you know, it's, it's always kind of like that. You always kind of see a gap, depending on how much you want to do in terms of interaction. It's cute though. I like that. Feels almost a bit light on your returns here. And by that, I mean, when this creature goes up, I'd be careful put on some onion skinning here. You got that back line here. Horribly traced here, but I mean goes to here, and then we're staying at that height. You see this? I'm asking as if you were here. <laughs> anyway, it goes up, hits the same height for frame, and then we go back down. So I would smooth it out a little bit. That being said, it's better than here. Because what's happening here is that you're going to, you know, from a reverse here. From this to this, which is cool, but what happens here is that you're doing this. Bow! That's a one frame direction change where you're pushing up in terms of physics, and then it's gonna have to have a little bit of hang time and down. Because it's not that cartoony where you can do like a whole even then you would hold paramour two and then and then you can zip down for pull. But I will keep this a bit more on the realistic side, just so it, it fits the style of all this. What you can do is either you add more frames to hold this longer, but then it would come down a bit later and eat into your slide. So you might have to add some frames or you just don't go as high. So where are we here? I mean, you already have contrast, right? It's, it's around here-ish. Yeah, it's already lower, but you know, you can always go from here, maybe here. Then you can have that time where I can ease in a bit more. I do like this here, the slide out this way and then back. I think it's great. Given that you have some form of shadowing, I mean, occlusion and everything, it feels like they're a bit hovery. Little toes, I would bring them down and get a slight intersection in there so it feels really like it's, it's on the surface. Or just take out the sh that shadowing. And watch out, these don't get too stiff. They come out. I like what they're doing. You can probably keep these a bit looser. And then here they can come up and bit of an offset. And even through here, you know, 
you have to think about is this is the creature considering this to be a threat or not is it curiosity would this start to vibrate maybe because of like threat sensing or because it's excited and wants to play that could be something i'll be careful about this rotation here you're going out and then we're stopping here and then you just rotate back or i will probably just not rotate as or translate as far right you can peel off and maybe be here and then as this happens in terms of rotation change it keeps on translating forward they can always come back because i don't think you can go further forward because we're fairly stretched here already so watch out for your spacing there this elbow change here going down indicates pressure which means that you want to flatten on this side peel a little bit off flatten the fingers there stuff like that I don't know. This feels too much to me. I like that you're in indicating a squashy thing because you're pushing for it to go this way, but it feels more like I would reduce this a little bit and almost have a slight curl and the thumb in. It's kind of like everything kind of points this way and pushes this way as well. It's supposed to just a kind of like a neutral spread on those toes there. Very detail -y, very detail -y, but even this here. I like that you have it here, but I think it's also a bit too much. And then on a move like this, it feels a bit too slidey. I would add a little bit more of a roll peel off. Like that type of thing a bit sooner, to be honest. Hold on. Let's watch this in real time. Yeah, a bit sooner. I do kind of like the contrast of kind of a slide peel off. So it's not just a step, but maybe just, maybe just a bit sooner. This, I'd be careful when you go forward. It feels a bit fast where... There's momentum going forward, it pushes itself forward. And then with that slide, there's no real, it's not really gripping and it's not really able to push back. So this forward move to me stops too quickly. It feels like you're doing this. So it feels like you wanna go and continue with a bigger, broader slide forward. And then it has to go back and it wouldn't be able to go back that much and that quickly, if that makes sense. So this, or you just reduce the amount going forward. But either way, just make sure it doesn't just go forward and down. A little bit of a slide there. and just Make sure that momentum doesn't just suddenly stop. And then on this, the other thing I'm reacting to is that when you plant and you just have the toe spread, the rest feels kind of locked. I would still have a little bit of, you know, maybe a little peel or like a foot roll off here and then a compression down flattening and then the toes so it's not just it just feels a bit like i'm i'm putting your you know rotation just on the fingers the base while the rest is kind of locked because even on this here as you go down this feels really static it's going to feel more detailed work in flattening this and adding a bit more compression i like that the ankle here goes out there's good stuff already This is okay. I was feeling that this is maybe a bit too, too changing of direction here. I think it's okay. You might be able to go one frame lower and then here and then come up. Get a softer curve. But you get to animate these guys. That's the offsets and stuff. They feel sometimes a bit too stiff. It's cool though. Even this one, I would probably add a frame or two of a hold. So you're going back and immediately returns and this feels Again, this feels very physics driven. You're going to go up and hold a bit and it's the arms out that's going to drive the imbalance. Even if the legs would push, it would, it would be a, a root movement this way, you know, in these directions and then it drops. So probably give us a couple more frames of a hold and return. And that's kind of that. And then the robot, you know, robot is a bit flat. Watch out. This feels like... You might have a bit more of an overshoot there or or a flatter curve. As in, if you're ending here, instead of doing this, you just start earlier. That's cute. That's cute. That feels a bit slow and even and static there. Just through there. Sorry, I got a plane flying over there. I don't know if you can hear this. But it feels like at that speed that this would gravity-wise already come down and dangle a little bit. That this whole thing would happen sooner. With a slight return uh, possibly in terms of time yeah it feels a bit floaty and slow there and that's kind of that all right thanks all right 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.